Yo guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, we have a Q&A, and, a, and I wrote the article in the flash, in the about the flash in my Medium channel. And I get the question from the Instagram flow. We have a question here, and we have a solution here as well. I wrote the solution in my Medium article, and now uh, I'm just trying to demonstrate uh, the solution for you guys. So the question is that how we can auto reload python flask app which is a debug mode that means you don't need to uh, imagine that you're going to make a change in your flask app which i'm going to show you and when you're going to run it and you're going to go to local local host with the certain port if you're going to change change a little bit in your code during the running server or apache server whatever during uh, when when your server is running if you are going to make a change, it's not going to get changed. So here, I want to show you if I'm going to run the Python. I'm going to get a local house IP address with the port 5000. I'm going to go. We are going to see. Let me test it. Change it to test first. Wait. Cancel again. Run it again. Wait. Here you go. I'm going to open it. I'm going to get I'm going to get the test right but if I'm going to make a change in the code for example say hello world and reload it again you cannot see hello world why because it didn't it's not going to uh, reload the page it's not going to read the whole script again and reload the page and here we have two solution like three solution I think let me show you yeah, we have three solutions which I wrote the article about in my Medium channel. If you want, you can follow. Arshad Dev with the tree, T3V. And then the first solution, it's about we can use it, we can go to a common prompt, flask app, and uh, the, the file name, and debug mode is gonna be run. The second solution is gonna be like export flask environment to development. And the last solution, uh, which is so easy is about when we put app.run we just give an argument to it and make the debug mode to true here we have app right we have to give argument and that argument is going to be debug and the value is going to be true that's it if i'm going to cancel it and here for the, the easiest solution, when I, uh, first I'm going to go for the easiest solution. For example, here app dot run, I'm going to go for debug true. All right, and then when I'm going to run, I'm going to get the local host with 5000 ports. Hello, we get the hello world, right? If I'm going to make a change, for example, say I should dev. As you can see, we get some change here debug pin detected change detected change that means we make a change right and it's reloading now if i'm going to reload the page again i'm going to get the actual dev so we simply uh, now we are simply in a debug mode it's going to be awesome for programmers because when they're going to make a change in the script it's gonna reload in that moment and they don't need to cancel the script you know they don't need to terminate the script and run it again and that's so useful and the second uh, the second way is that you are going to remove the debug uh, argument to you're going to remove the de debug argument from the app run. you're going to go to cmd go to your file first i'm going to go to desktop then i'm going to go to flask directory and then i'm gonna write simply here I wrote it in my medium channel flask app main.py debug run so I'm gonna write here flask app I'm going to go here we will see if that's dash dash app dash dash app if you don't know about flask argument stuff you can do flask dash h I think you have to no such option I don't know if you are going to go to a documentation you will find that you, you will find documentation but I think you can use the help of the flask as well here I don't know right now why it's not showing us but anyway 
I'm going to tell you. So the, we are trying to do flask dash dash app and then the app file is gonna be the name of the app file is flask simple right so flask simple dash dash debug here we have debug run and I'm going to do that I'm going to get the IP address running in this way we didn't modify the script and change give the uh, debug argument to the app right so we just simply you open our terminal or command prompt or whatever based on your operating system and then simply write flash dash dash app your file name dash dash debug run that's it now it's actually there if i'm going to make a change and run and test and load it again i'm going to get test so that's the second solution and the last solution is about export flask environment which is kind of same as the first solution so you can do that as well but it's gonna be kind of permanently then uh, you are going to remove it like it's gonna be like you are going to move the flask environment to the development and when you wanted to remove it you can simply remove it but the difference between first one and second one is that the first one is going to for example, you are going to run your Python script and you are going to put it in a debug mode and run it. When you are going to terminal the command prompt or terminal and run it again, it's not going to be in a debug mode, right? But the second one, when you are going to write in your command prompt, move the Flask environment to development and you run it, even today or tomorrow, it's going to be in a development. That's the difference. And the last one is the same as the second one as well. The last one, uh, it's the same because when the argument of your code the argument of the app is debug true even if you're going to sleep and come back again it's going to be debug true right so it's going to be on a debug mode so based on your need use one of these ways easy peasy learn squeezy the question was this even you can go to up a uh, server flow and then uh, there are some people some people answer the question kind of same as me but i just collect all of the information with together because it's gonna be better for you guys to understand it better the first solution here we have the first solution but here we don't have the debug true right but I put it in my article anyway debug true that's a different debug true but if you are going to go down you are going to see debug true as well in another respond of the programmer which respond to his question so what I did, I just simply read the question and I answer the question based on the information which other programmers write and I based on my experience. That's it. I hope you love this tutorial. Don't forget to follow my YouTube channel, subscribe my uh, Medium channel as well if you want to read. If you are a good reader, go for it. If you don't like to read, you can just simply watch my videos. That's it. Goodbye.